Hi guys! Threads unveil new and interesting features to keep users on the app. The federal government launches an ambitious digital skill empowerment program. Starlink shocks Nigeria with a 21% drop on essential kits. Also, we have news on a major leadership shakeup in the Nigerian's tech and digital landscape. I'll be right back with more details right after this. Threads, the X or Twitter alternative, has rolled out two game-changing features to users on its mobile app, an edit button and voice threads. Last week, Mark Zuckerberg shared the news on his Threads profile and the replies have been very positive. The new edit button allows users to edit their posts after they have been published and indicates a post that has been edited with an icon that looks both like a pen scribble and a threaded needle. On the other hand, voice threads allow users to post new threads simply by speaking. To post a voice thread, Tap the new thread icon in the center of the home screen, then tap the microphone icon. A big red dot will appear. Once you tap, it starts recording. Users can post threads of up to 30 seconds and the post will appear both as text and an audio file that can be played. The edit button and voice threads features are some of the more dramatic changes that Threads has made in recent months in an effort to attract and retain users. Other changes include a new Explore tab easier sharing option and improved algorithm. It remains to be seen whether these changes will be enough to turn things around for Threads, which struggled to retain users after its first week. Are you impressed by this? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, the federal government has launched a digital skill empowerment program aimed at equipping millions of Nigerians with essential tech skills. The Minister of Communications, Innovations and Digital Economy, Dr. Bosun Tijani, last week shared this development during a fireside chat at Tech Cabal's Moonshot event. Tijani broke down his blueprint to train 3 million technical talents in the next four years. He said the ministry has created a unique model to drive the implementation of the plan as contained in its 31-page policy document. Our commitment to talent development is unwavering. We have set an ambitious goal to train 3 million early to mid-career technical talents over the next four years, Dr. Tijani said. Applications have already been open and it is not just for individuals, trainers are also invited to apply. The first phase of the program will focus on 30,000 Nigerians, a significant step towards the ultimate goal of 3 million. This phase approach aims to ensure a steady and sustainable process. Dr. Tijani further added, if you take the 36 states of the country and you break down the 30,000, it's a step that sounds big, but it's all about creating opportunities one step at a time. Is Boston Tijani the only minister in the country? <laughs> Do well to share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, there has been a major shakeup by President Bola Ahmed Chinubu in the Communications, Innovations and Digital Economy Ministry. The President removed the Executive Vice Chairman of the Nigerian Communication Commission, Prof. Umar Gambata, replacing him with Amin Umaida as the EVC and CEO of the NCC. Inkechi Egerton Idehe is all set to take over as MD and CEO of Niche Comsat, taking the baton from Tukur Mohamed Lawa Funtua and Tola Adeyemi for Naipos, taking over from from Sunday Ade Kwaju. President Inu, however, retained NITDA DG Kashifu Inua and Dr. Vincent Olatunji of NDPC while appointing Idris Alubankudi as special advisor to the president on technology and digital economy. Perhaps Bosun Tijani isn't alone after all. Share your thoughts and expectations of this shakeup in the comments. And before we go, last week I shared news of the SpaceX and Jumia partnership to make it easier for Nigerian customers to get their hands on Starlink internet kits. Well, there is more good news. SpaceX has just announced a 21% price reduction for their hardware. The Starlink kit essential for accessing the high-speed service has fallen from 378,000 Naira to 299,000 Naira and this reduction goes into effect this October. It's worth noting that the monthly subscription fee remains unchanged at 38,000 Naira. There is even more good news for early adopters. If you ordered the kit in the last 30 days, you receive a partial refund. Starlink is clearly pulling out all the stops to attract more customers in Nigeria. And with that, we've come to the end of today's news update. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, turn on your post notification so you never miss a video like this one. And until next time, it's Bookie here, signing off.